Hello, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create fact and dimension from our data. Uh, if you watch my previous video about basic data modeling in Power BI, I talk about why we need fact and dimension. Uh, so in this video, we are going to use how we can use Power Query to create fact and dimension. data that's coming from Sessionize. Sessionize is the website that helps you to organize conference so uh, speakers able to uh, going and submit their session over there and they actually uh, based on that you're able to create the reports uh, from the sessions from the speakers and also from the room and category of the session so uh, I explain in another video that I put the link in the caption that how that work in this video I'm just going to show you the process of creating the data so it's here is more about data modeling part but in the other video about sessionize I'm just creating a template for that so uh, I get my data via a JSON file that sessionize uh, provide for me so this is the link and I'm going to the Power Query to uh, get the data. So it's come here. So as you can see, is actually this is my data. I just one explanation about what I'm going to do. So uh, I have two options. I can put everything in one table. Still, I can create the visualization. But as I discussed in the previous. Uh, part or part one you see that it's not recommended because of the maintenance and lots of changes and it's very hard to get inside so uh, I'm going to create the uh, semi star schema like this so uh, the first thing is that is not the actually the, it is a factless fact table that means that my data isn't doesn't have the number I can uh, get the number out of that but at the initial stage it doesn't have the numeric value as a fact table so it has information about the schedule of the conference so scheduling a start time and then time and some attributes like who is the speaker what is the session title and the room become my dimension I have another again factless um, uh, fact table that actually even again here I don't have the numeric value I is still able to add that but here i'm going to actually get more information about session and its related category so let's see that how i can create that one so i'm back to the power bi over here so i need a, a dimension for speaker for session for room and for category here is a bit easy so i'm going through the speaker first i'm right click here I have the option add as new query so it's give me a list so that column become as a list I need to convert it because I want to do some more transformation on that so I say yes and I'm going to expand my rows over here so I need to go because it's a JSON format so it has different hierarchy so I need to expand it I don't need the original name to be prefix and this is my data about a speaker so I just need to keep information about the speaker first of all I need to change some of the title so this is a speaker ID which is a text file I need first name last name bio tagline they are all a specification of the speaker uh, I have something like is it the top speaker I think this is just one value is all false I don't provide that information that I prefer to delete so here I'm not going to talk about the sessions or the links uh, so I'm going to actually remove both of them uh, I'm not going to talk about the category of the sessions this is only about the uh, speakers thing so I just keep information about the speaker so full name last name and the rest I will be happy if I have more data but this is the only data I have in the next step I'm going to extract information about rooms so again I right click and add the column rooms as a separate table I convert it to become a table and definitely I need to expand it to achieve my data so this is all information about the room the only thing I just change it the name to be clear 
so room id and the name of the room and the sort based on that in the next step i'm going to check the information about the speaker so i'm just add uh, as a new query oh sorry i just i mean not this one i mean the sessions so i'm going to add the sessions over here again add as a new query the session do the same process and here i definitely need the first one that is session id I need this one to be the whole number. I need the title of the session, the description, information about the scheduling that is shouldn't because it's not just one specification of the session. It's a specification also of the speaker. Also is related to the it can be related to the title. So it shouldn't be in this here. So I'm going to just keep session ID, title and description. I remove other columns so this is the session so i just make sure and uh, the last dimension that i have is category i'm just going to add it over here again uh, i'm just going to make it as a new file so as you can see it has uh, the some specifications so it's a session or track i just remove duplication data over here so this can be my uh, kind of category id and it should be a numeric value okay so these are my dimension what is there first of all data is unique here i don't have duplication in my data over here because they are dimension they are not talking about the repeated data they are just the, some dimension that i'm going to uh, kind of analyze other data based on them so first make sure they are unique rows the another one is that all of them has a surrogate key or the primary key that each line can be identified by that and is not so for example for the categories i have two id one is the simple id but as you can see is repeated so it's not a surrogate key i couldn't identify each row by that but here the category id is actually the one that is unique so i can use this one in other and also as you can see the name and the title does doesn't repeat it so same for the session and the room and speaker so I have my all of my dimension over here from the charts that I have so I have all of these two now I'm going to the look at my fact table again my fact table we call it factless fact table that means that you don't have a numeric or additive value here uh, the first one is going to analyze the schedule based on the speaker station and room we are going to analyze based on that so uh, I think the one of the things that have my all of my data is the uh, session so i'm going to again get data but this time i'm not going to uh, hold the descriptive value i'm just going to uh, hold the uh, facts that i have from here or the id to other uh, tables so here i don't need the title and the description i still need the session id because i need to be in touch with that table and if you remember it was whole number but i don't need the title and description so i remove them uh speakers uh, i only need the uh, speaker id so speaker id and if you remember it was text uh this the, these two data is all false and i don't provide the data so i don't need them um for the room id again i need that and it's a whole number uh, this one is null so i remove all things that is actually doesn't have anything for the category is not related to the schedule so it's not the attribute that able to describe the schedule is more related to the session so i remove that one i have about 16 rows of the data and definitely uh for example if i look at this uh, here i don't have repeated for the speakers because the speakers uh, speak in one session but i may have speakers speak in couple of sessions uh, here uh, for the one session i may have for example two speaker that's happened here so it's kind of support everything i just check the other part that is the date and 
time about the start and schedule i need to do some transformation i need the start time and end time for that so i just get the start time part as a new column not as a transformation so just add it as a start time and of course i need the end time so i'm just getting the time as a separate column and time and i uh, here because it depends so for example in my scenario i know that the conference is one day but if i want to be realistic i have a start date and end date so you can have them to be just the date so for example just showing the date over here not the timing so you see that they are the same i can remove them but uh, i may keep them because maybe i have multiple conference so i'm going to uh, for this scenario i'm just going to remove them so this is my one of my fact i call it a schedule that can be described by session by room and by speaker another things that i have again uh, is from category i do the same uh, because sessions hold most of the information i get it from over here i'm just going to convert it to become a list again over here so this is a, re a relationship between the session and category so this is session id that we need again uh, we don't need the title, start with or end with. We don't need these columns. We don't need these two as well. And the speaker. whole number and I call it as a fact category session so uh, these two is actually have lots of repeated data for example I have just 14 session but because in each session I have many speakers so here is instead of 14 rows I have 16 rows same for that category I have different category over here I don't provide any descriptive value over here as the fact it will hold, don't hold the descriptive data here just only have that one even for this one maybe i can hold a, another dimension that has the date uh, that has the time and i connect that and just bring the uh, id of the time over here which i skip that one so uh, the last thing is that i don't need this table to be load to my visualization so i'm just going to close and apply and see what's uh, actually how's my relationship should be look like over okay so i can see that it's really perfectly it's fine the connection the only thing is that uh, i may able to uh, kind of extract information from the here between the category item and category so just going to connect them if you get a message there are many too many or the other that means that something going run so you need to back to the power query and make them correct that i think here is okay to so this is my actually if i just focus it this is my uh, tables that i have i just put the two fact table at the middle and these are my dimension this is still a snowflake we call it as a snowflake we have two fact table and they are connected with a dimension with a just one link uh, sorry this is a star schema it's not a snowflake uh, and you're able to see that you can actually you have your fact of information over here i'm just going to see that how it look like as a matrix i put the row name and the room name as a row and from the fact schedule i put the start time to be the color the uh, column header and uh, from the speakers i'm going to add uh, first of all put the profile image to be i and then i put it over here as a value 
So you should see my speakers. There are some repetition as a total. That's because of the specification of that. So I'm going to turn off and you can see my speakers over here. And of course I can bring some more information about the full name and the rest. So one of the thing is that the direction is matter. That means that uh, here, for example, there is a two direction between the speakers and FAC schedule. It's not recommended. It's not the best practice. This is not a good one, but sometimes for the slice and dice, I need to do over. But in the first scenario, I just want to show you that how uh, the basic concepts of the FAC and dimension can be implemented using uh, Power Query and GUI. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video.